Yeah, I can see it, but I can't talk to you. I see what I'm saying. Okay, no, Let's that's fine. That's fine. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry. I mean, like, show your eyes, and I'll kind of just talk through it. I'll go at a slow pace. So I decided to put together yeah, yeah. A, a little bit of a. I want. I don't know. I guess a little bit of a presentation. This is mainly for for you, but I guess I can show everyone else because it's not really a big deal. It's just kind of to why I think that we should go ahead and maybe look at starting a bit of a racing crew. Um, I'll be honest, it's kind of hard for me to go through at the same time, so I know the feeling. So on slide number two, I've gone ahead and put a few reasons as to why I think uh, we should have a, a racing crew predominantly manned and focused. So I think obviously all around, yeah, it's good vibes, man. Everyone has a lot of fun when we do the racing. Um, you know, driving ability, man, like, I don't like. I don't want to be rude, but like, not everyone is 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 technically a, a very good driver. And I feel like driving a lot around the city, doing these tracks and stuff. Not only are people gonna have fun, but it's gonna make them much better drivers and give them a lot better uh, like city knowledge as well. People can make money, right? I mean, especially like me, I'm hella lazy when it comes to making money. I can't lie. So competing in races and stuff is good for making money. It's good for networking as well. So for someone like myself who doesn't really know many people. You get to meet a lot of people and listen we can plug vet services out their cheeks here big man do you know how many advanced repair kits are going to be getting sold on a daily basis so i feel like as a whole there's a lot of reasons as to why we should create one now in terms of the name okay i'm gonna be honest with you i i know cruiser wants to go with roadman okay he wants to revive the roadman name i get it you know roadman it's it's a good catchy name i like it I'll be honest, I, I like HMRC. Now, I, I've heard you don't really like that one. Uh, I just think it's a funny one. But this is just a couple of names that we could potentially go with. Um, but, I mean, that's just completely, like, talking point. Everyone can have their own input. I, I want to speak to the just whole um, the whole racing crew if it ever goes that far and see what they want to go with. And then uh, on slide number four... These are just a bunch of people that I think would be interested. This is definitely not like a list of people that have to join, will join, or only these people can join. These are just people that I think would genuinely be interested. So it's not just like a, I'm the only one interested type thing. I think if I went to majority of these people with the same sort of, um, same way I'm going to buy it with yourself and just explain it to them, I think a lot of these people would be down. I think everyone also has the same problem as, as me and you though. Like we got a lot of other shit going on though, right? So we can't um we can't, you know, be there every day. But if we got plenty of members, I'm sure people will be down to, to have some fun. Uh slide number five, listen, this is the big disclaimer, right? A main point of the crew is to have fun. This is not a hardcore racing crew. But it does give us the opportunity. So if you want to actually partake in like MRL and do like actual quote unquote sweaty racing, this will give us the opportunity to do it because we'll have a crew to do it under, right? But like 99% of this racing crew is going to be just like fun. And number six, right? Slide number six. These are going to be all the different potential things that we could do with the racing crew. All the different ideas. Because we did the Mandan racing the other day with like the local racers and shit. And that was a lot of fun. And I went ahead and written down just a few, a few ideas that I think would be quite good for it. So obviously you've got the, the MRL and the crew racers and the standard street racing. But all the fun racers bro. Like the wreck fest, local car, chop car, van, moped. Just a bunch of different ones. I stuck drifting on the end of there because I know crews are like drifting. Not really my my thing but i don't know i don't know how you feel about the drifting and then uh slide number seven it's just it is what it is isn't it like you just you know you just gotta you just gotta do it man i think i think it's one of them things where it's like beating around the bush and saying yeah we can do it man we can do it and then never getting to it is is one of them in it you gotta just fucking you gotta just send it man and I'm hoping sometimes that you gotta uh, send it. Yeah, exactly. True. Sometimes you just gotta send it, you know. And you know, Road Benz was my idea, right? The race name. I I I didn't know it was your idea. I know. So I I told Cruiser Cruiser making our own racing crew upon leaving Yokai. So you we were so you're thinking about the, doing it then? Diamond Hills. I was thinking about doing it, but we was like we can't we couldn't do it too soon because we didn't want to like like we left Yokai just go making up a racing crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's very evident it. that we weren't like vibing with Yokai the way that it should be for racing crew. Mm -hmm. 
that's the thing and that's one of the main reasons that i mean i could just go the easy way out and just join a racing crew like i got some boys that race i could just go join them but i, I don't think it'd be the same thing man like i'm not trying to create a racing crew to be the best like don't get me wrong we have some fucking racing crew to change race and see i i, I exactly. like the idea of making a racing crew change the race and scene opposed to actually making a saying that we'd like win and be the best exactly like I... the idea where we come through the ideas and we have like races that are like they're titled that that name and you're like oh that's gonna be a fun race well this is this is what i said to myself the other day that's was um but i agree i said to myself the other day why whenever we we put on mandem races the people always want to come along why is it never just mandem because people know that when the mandem hosts a race it's good vibes everyone has fun it's not sweaty it's literally just a good enjoyable experience and i feel like if we create a racing crew based on that and kind of go from there when we put up races people will be inclined to join to them uh, and whatnot because they know they're gonna have fun if you go to a... face races that's what it was yeah um but i just wanted to hmrc is like i've seen hmrc before it's it's it is good no, listen, I like Roman, don't get me wrong. Well, I mean, Roman, Roman's sick, but I just, I, I just think about, like, what if you ever want to use Roman in the future? I just tie it to the gang too much. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear it. Let me answer bed real quick. Yeah, do that, brother. Yo. All right. We back. <laughs> no worries, bro. Um, I guess the only other thing that I was going to say is, like, I've already said this, that I, I think if you or Cruiser's name was the quote-unquote leader, uh, the, 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 um... The racing crew's name would hold a lot more weight however i appreciate yeah, I that. that you don't have the time for something like this you're very busy and well, well i just said to the cruiser that'd be nice for me to have like a different role and i'd happily just yeah. have my name as a leader but no for sure like if there was something like we needed i guess it doesn't really matter if it's if it's a racing crew that isn't all about like crazy sweaty and we actually just do fun shit, then i won't mind it at all well, the thing is, right, it could be... And I can, we can have, like, a hierarchy anyway. Like, we have the OGs, and they just all have the same power as I do. Uh, uh, well, I guess, um... I guess it's one of those things where it's, like... Yeah, no, I, fucking hell. I guess the, the presentation is also to kind of show the, the willingness. I am willing to, quote-unquote, lead it, right? When I say that, I mean, basically, do the fucking paperwork, right? If there's mm. any shit that needs to be done, like the MRL stuff or, or like getting the races set up and stuff like that, like I say, the paperwork, I'm down to do that, right? Um, uh, I still oh, think sorry, um, I still think the name would definitely uh, hold more weight under yourself or Cruiser, but I appreciate Cruiser really, really doesn't want to be in that position. Um, yeah. And I know you have a lot of shit going on yourself. So if it would be a case of like, bubble, sorry, bubble, sorry. <laughs> oh shit, my boy, bubble, sorry, man, bubble. It's oh, a bubble. Love you, man. Oh, this... the vault right now. I gotta go. Oh, I gotta no, go. This bubble, bubble man. is huge, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> box. Okay, did it pop, man? Quick, go, go, go. I love you, Tommy. Good luck, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess it would be more like, um, you know, you have your name at the top. But I, I don't mind dealing with everything, man. Uh, I don't mind putting up the races. I don't mind getting people together, you know, like I don't mind doing the MRO stuff and making sure people know when all the races are because I still think that even though it is going to be solely just for fun and not the sweaty stuff, I still think of some of us and I'd say me, I don't know about yourself included, I would still want to do a little bit of the sweaty stuff like the MRL and participating yeah, no, in the, yeah, the, the, the big best, races. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So stuff like that, if we have to sign up to that stuff and, and whatnot, if I have to speak to like whoever I runs tomorrow, it. That's easy anyway. That's well, exactly. That's the thing. I can't really do that. Um, and that's yeah. why I think having your name at the top is great, but everything else I don't mind dealing with. Yeah, I got you. But I just want you to think about it. That's all, man. Like, you know, this ain't something that we got to rush into. I just wanted to let you know yeah, how I, I feel I'd about it. I'd say what you should do to actually, like... See, see, that's how we made a presentation, right? Yeah. We were and did that. Like, one thing you've learned about me is what, what I love the most out of any people in general is people who are just proactive. There's nothing that I, like, appreciate more than someone who just does saying, goes out of their way and does it without me asking them. Yeah, for sure. Um, especially if it's, like, beneficial to me or the others, right? A hundred percent. So I think a good starting point is just to, like you said, throw up these races more often. Mm-hmm and create the vibes that then naturally create the group for sure 
you think um it's yeah, worth and you, and you can see who actually like you would know, want like, to be involved 80 members there right but i feel like you, should, you want to find who actually have the vibes and actually want to be there yeah not for there sure because everyone's telling them to be there so do you not think i should approach because like i say the list that I, I made on there was just to kind of show you that i do believe people would be interested um yeah I mean, those would be the people that I would approach and, and basically just say to them, like, kind of, you know, in a similar fashion, listen, if we did this thing, would you be interested? Because, um, I, like I said, I know with the with the race and stuff, right, it's, it's, it's techie, man. People have got other shit going on. People can't always race. One day the racing's booming, the next day it's not. I don't expect people to have time to race every day, um, but it would be nice to know who would like to be a part of it. So, I don't know. I'm not that's what I mean, but that, that you'll naturally find that anyway, and then you can ask those questions when when it comes to it down the line. Races and shit, right? For sure. For like, sure. You need to do the races and see who takes part and see who willingly just goes there and takes part. And obviously, yeah, like you said, some people are busy sometimes, and that's calm. But it's seeing who goes to the races and who vibes, and like you know. Exactly. I mean, this isn't going to be an overnight thing, right? It's going to take a few weeks of um of of because like I said, people have got all this shit going on, man. So it's going to take a few weeks of putting up races, see who, who actually enjoys it. I guess my main concern of the racing crew is people would get hyped up for about five minutes and then decide they haven't got time to do it anymore, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I guess that goes back to what you said, putting up the races maybe over the next couple of weeks, kind of see who attends, see who shows interest, yeah, let making a note itself. of it. Yeah, exactly. Let it build itself. And then if they are showing that, like, you know, that willingness to want to do it, then maybe approach them down the line. Yeah, it's no, I'm happy with that though. I'm definitely happy with that. Like I said, I wanted to, I wanted you to just know how I feel about it. Cruiser kind of knows. Um, I spoke to the only other person I spoke to is Els because I know he really wants to get into the racing. Well, but... He always wants to get into racing, but... and he has ever since I've known him. <laughs> yeah, um, but he's never got into the racing, and like, yeah, well that's in that the thing. Time, like I've gone and done mad racing, done all that shit, and he hasn't done anything. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. I think it's gonna be one of them where it's like, right, I'm gonna say it with the radio, like. I am putting up a fucking race. Like, if you want to come, be there. Like, it's going up now. Let's get it going, you know? And sometimes, man, it's, it's a bit of a domino effect, right? Like, one person's like, oh, fine, whatever, let's do it. And then everyone else wants to go. So it's just... That's the proactiveness. Those people yeah. are leaders who stand out the most, right? No, I hear Same. it, brother. Well, listen, I appreciate the time, man. Listen, I got some other shit to go, so I got to go to bed myself.